have a problem which involves only bombs, there is only one man you can call, and no, not the Flash. Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Bomb Jack, a game released in 1992 for the Nintendo Game Boy, published by Infograms. The original arcade version was made and released in 1984 by Tecmo, who were then called Tekken Limited. Bomb Jack is an arcade platformer where you play as Bomb Jack, the man who can jump really high and fall down really slowly, and that pretty much is the entirety of his superpowers, which he uses, you guessed it, to get rid of bombs and prevent peril through their um, removal from the scene where they're going to blow up. It doesn't really say where Bomb Jack puts the bombs, he just gets rid of them. And Bomb Jack has to avoid all the enemies on the screen as well, because they are trying to kill him by running into him. Bomb Jack only has one way he can get rid of enemies, and that is only temporary. The original arcade version had five levels that uh, loop quite um, quickly once you get through them, and they get progressively harder each time you go through. Bomb Jack here for the Game Boy has a lot more levels, but they do indeed still loop and they get harder as you go through. The uh, whole point of the game is just to get the high score, much like in the arcades, and there is no true ending. This is a game that I uh, have on quite a few multi-cards, but was never the focus of me getting those multi-cards. I was always trying to get uh, other games on there, and this was normally about number 7 or 8 on the list of multi-card games, uh, in the selection you could play there. But eventually I did decide to start playing it, and I was very glad I did, because this game is a very, very enjoyable experience that for some reason has the music off by default, which is odd because the music in this game is absolutely brilliant. And so without further ado, one more thing we need to comment on, and that is the fact that uh, Bomb Jack's costume is rather silly. Indeed it has horns on the uh, helmet for no particular reason, and he looks very, very unimpressed with the title screen because there is a bomb in the very name. And so without further ado, let's go and start getting rid of those bombs, eh? What's the worst that could happen, apart from Bomb Jack dying? Let's go! The controls are very, very simple. You move with the arrow keys, you jump with one button, and if you press down when you fall, you uh, fall extra fast, and if you press up before you jump, you jump really, really high. Tapping the uh, jump button if you're in the air will mean that you sort of can uh, hover momentarily for as long as you can, uh, as long as you can keep pressing the jump button. And indeed, level one is done. There are lit bombs, they give you more points, and if you manage to uh, collect at least 20 of them, you get bonus points. And that is an extra life. It is always, always worth getting them, because they are rather uncommon. There are two heights for jumping. There is a normal height when you don't press up, and a height when you press up. And that pretty much is the amount of control that you get. You have a lot of control when you're falling, though, which is rather good. And I didn't manage to get that bomb. You'll notice that the bird is always there, and the walking enemies transform into other enemies when they get to the ground. Sometimes they'll start on the ground and immediately become other enemies. Touching any of them means that you die, and you lose a life, and you need to be very, very careful about where you're going, because uh, you don't have that many lives. The B there is bonus points. We may grab them if they are uh, nearby, like there. But we won't be going out of our way to get bonus points, as getting bonus points gives you really nothing, and you really want to be careful about jumping near the uh, platforms, because hitting a platform will mean that you fall, and that can be really bad. There are four different types of enemies that the walking enemies can become. They can become a flying saucer, they can become a crustacean, both of them try to track you, the crustacean is remarkably better at it, and there are also uh, some balls that just follow the- uh oh. I'm very lucky that I survived there. There are balls that manage to uh, follow the contours of a level, or alternatively try and track you more, uh, more directly, and I wasn't so lucky that time and died. There is also a robot that does much the same as the ball. You want to get all of the bombs over collecting the uh, lit ones, because the lit ones are uh, most certainly, uh, they do give you more points, but they tend to put you in more danger. And level 5 here has no platforms whatsoever, so you need to be very, very careful about where you go. 
and no bonus there, but eventually we will get a bonus on one of the levels. You also want to try and prioritise getting the uh, bombs at the bottom of levels first, because the bombs at the bottom of the levels are normally harder to get, especially when the enemies uh, start getting to the bottom and there are some bonus points there that I want. And if we jump here, we got loads of bonus points! 30,000! If we'd have got one more bomb, we'd have got 50,000 points, but unfortunately, we weren't that lucky. There's no real point to getting them though, because they don't give you anything apart from more points, which uh, you don't really need. So we're just going to focus on uh, getting all of the bombs, and as many of the lit ones as we reasonably can get, while avoiding that pesky bird, because the bird is indeed very, very deadly. There is always a bird on the screen at any one time. And there is a power-up which, there it is, a power-up that allows you to uh, obliterate all of the enemies, very temporarily. It does give you points for doing so, but they do come back. And they come back with a vengeance! And there are some bonus points I want to grab there. There we go! We need to be very, very careful now because both those enemies are over there, and one of them is the robot which we really don't need to worry about. There we go! Not bad! Level 9! And we most certainly want to go down here first, because down here is going to be a lot of enemies very, very soon, and we want to get out of here now as quickly as we can, and time very carefully our, um, there are bonus points there, there are two flying saucers as well, that is really, really bad, because the saucers are most certainly going to track us down. Fortunately, they can't move here directly towards us, they do a sort of zigzagging pattern, and here is another level where we uh, have to be very careful, because there are no platforms whatsoever. We want to uh, jump like that, and jump very carefully, very carefully indeed, like this, and jump down, and I think, uh oh, that ended really badly, about as badly as I thought it would. And no bonus points for us, because we died. And here on this level, we automatically pick up a bomb, which, uh, bonus points for us there, which means we pretty much have to try and get all the lit bombs in a particular order. You'll note on the levels that if you grab them in a different order than the, uh, the obvious one, you will get a different way to, um, be able to, uh, get the bonus points. And we need to be very careful there, because we could have died. We most certainly could have died there. What we want to do right now is we want the uh, the bird to come down here and, there we go, chase us that way. So that we can... Ah, that's really not a good place for the bird to be, actually. There we go, that will have to do. We need to avoid that by running under it, and jump up here, and not get any extra bonus points. But we did manage to complete the level, and that really is all that matters in the end. And the bird is right there, as I thought it would be. Pesky, pesky bird that always gets in the way. Why does it always have to be birds in video games? Oh, there's the crustacean! The crustacean is very, very dangerous. You want to try and get away from the crustacean as quickly as you can, and it will probably cost you more than a few lives. We only have two lives, which is really not good. We really want more of them. That is a power-up that unfortunately I did not grab fast enough, and so we are in some serious trouble now. There we go, we could uh, use the time that they are frozen like that to uh, get some vital seconds and be able to uh, get more of the bombs, but I think we're going to be okay. And by I think, I mean I hope we're going to be okay, because this game, uh, this game can be quite tricky. There we go! Bonus points at last! We got a lot of bonus points, but they aren't going to get us any more lives, which is kind of bad. We really need more lives. There is a life, and we will grab that over getting any of the lip bombs any day, because those extra lives are very, very precious indeed. That is also quite good, and unfortunately in trying to get it, I completely wasted the extra life we just got. Oh, blast indeed. And there was an enemy that spawned right at the bottom there, which is really, really bad. The game is already starting to be rather tricky, and we have no lives whatsoever spare. We need to be very, very careful, unless we want to see the game over screen. There are uh, continues, I think there are an unlimited supply of them, but you do lose all of those precious points that we have been accumulating in vast quantities. We are nowhere near the number one spot, and I highly doubt we ever will be, because- uh oh. That was silly of me. Game over indeed. Alas, we were not good enough. But we did manage to get to the number six spot here, but we're not done with the game just yet. Oh no! I want to show you how much harder the game can get. I'm not too bad at it, but the normal difficulty is rather difficult. 
end of the game will now give us a very brief window to continue, where we lose all of our points, but we get a new slew of lives with which to uh, try and get a lot further. Unfortunately, I am not the best at this game, but I will most certainly try. Tom Jack can only try his best, after all. Need to be very, very careful, and I think avoid that bomb. Yes, we want to go that way, and there we go! That is a much better effort. 50,000 bonus points indeed! We are off to a flying start! Or should I say, a jumping start! Haha! <laughs> We want to uh, use this time here to uh, grab a few of these, like that, and uh, this here, and then we'll start going to get that there. If you uh, take too long, eventually they will revert back to being enemies, and that's really not a good thing to have happen. Eventually the game is going to start throwing four enemies at us at once, and that is going to be a really, really, really difficult thing indeed. We want to uh, do that there. And then this very- uh oh, I was about to say this very quickly, but that uh, saucer is following us a lot more intently than it used to, if you'll notice. It is much, much better at tracking us down. Fortunately, this is in a level where there is a large open space, and we need to use all of our expert jumping skills, which we do not possess. Or do we? Aha! And now we have this level again. You have seen this level before. You most certainly have. And we need to be very, very careful because uh, that bird is now tracking us a lot better than it used to, and the saucer most certainly is, so we uh, need to be careful here. Jump like that, and then like this, I think. There we go. And if we're very, very careful, we could jump like that. There we go! Level 19, which indeed is a level we have seen before, but the game hasn't yet got a lot harder yet. It will! And when it does, it most certainly takes off the kid gloves, because uh, the game is not messing around then. We want that. There we go. We'll uh, take these bonus points. There we go. Not bad at all. And then we'll grab the... Aha! We want that. Aha! Worth jumping up there and potentially getting ourselves killed. Most certainly. Four lives indeed, and the zero life, which is a lot of lives. Okay, up we go. And there are still only three enemies. This will not last. Eventually there will be a lot more than three. And jumping there was very, very dangerous indeed, because we could have died- uh oh. And we did indeed die very, very horribly. There we go. Level done though. And level 21 we are on. And we want to go down here immediately. And the birds have spawned down there. In fact, all of the enemies have spawned down there. And it is the crustacean and the flying saucer, which is really, really bad. And they are following us really intently, as you can see. So we need to be a little sneaky here and uh, trick them like that. Forget the bonus points. We want to get to level 22, which is this level all over again. There we go. And there are only three enemies. There are still only three, but they are indeed following us very, very intently. Uh-oh. Very intently indeed. This is going to get a lot harder. A lot harder. But fortunately, we are on level 23 now, which will have platforms that we can uh, quite cleverly use to uh, avoid terror and doom. Terror and doom in the sense that a bird is coming after us. And birds in video games, when they're after you, always instill terror and doom. We can jump very carefully there, and I don't think I want to uh, go that way at all. I want to go this way. And hopefully, there we go. Uh-oh, the ball is there. That's really, really bad. And the flying saucer is going that way, but we can lure all the enemies over this way if I do that, and fall this way. Tactics indeed for Bomb Jack. For Bomb Jack indeed, tactics are king. I was almost about to say for the Jack of Bombs, but uh, I suppose that is uh, quite accurate in some regards. Uh-oh, that was a silly mistake to do. So silly that it cost us a life, and we don't have as many lives as I had before. Most certainly. There are bonus points, I am not really bothered about them at all. Level 25. The game is still being rather um, generous. Has it stopped being generous? It has. Now there are two of the birds, and now the game is very, very tricky indeed. Because now there are four enemies you have to watch out for. Four enemies that are most certainly going to make sure that you die horribly. Very, very horribly indeed. And this is about the point where I'm normally uh, wishing that I play the game on the slow difficulty instead, where the enemies are 
Oops, but the enemies are a lot slower. We only have one more life left, the life that we have here. And I imagine even if I continued, I would be going through lives rather, rather quickly. Oh, there is an extra life. I want that. I want that. And I have that. Ha <laughs> ha. Now try not to waste it, Kiko. Immediately waste it now by jumping into an enemy. Just watch. It'll happen. And it didn't happen. It nearly happened, though. It almost happened. Those birds are moving in tandem. They're trying to do a double attack, and it probably would have succeeded. All right, here we go. More levels, more bomb jack, and more bombs, and more birds. Those are birds are really, really tricky. Really tricky indeed. I really, uh oh, there's a crustacean and a flying saucer. That's really, really bad, and there's an extra life down there I really, really want. Aha! Victory from the jaws of defeat. The jaws of a bird that is inevitably trying to uh, seal our defeat. We want lots of extra lives here, and you can see that the saucer spawned and one of the birds spawned immediately at the bottom, meaning there is no safe place for you to go, and unfortunately I did not jump high enough there at all, even slightly. And we have a few bombs that we need to get here, just a few, just two more, and I think I can get those two bombs. There we go! Level 29. On normal difficulty, I don't think I get much further at all, because there are a lot of enemies now, and there are multiple of the birds, and the birds are really, really tricky, and the, uh, the sorcerer is intently following us. Fortunately, there is a ball here, which is not so bad. Level 30. And here we are on this level once again, with, uh-oh, with a bird right there. What a sneaky, sneaky bird that is. So sneaky that it nearly got us killed. Keyword here is nearly, and I think our ability to complete the level has been assured. There we go. Those two enemies can live, because level 31 beckons to us. I don't remember if eventually there are five enemies that appear, but uh, I hope that's not the case. Hello, power up that I really, really want to grab. Shall I grab that now? I shall indeed. And get that there, this here, and those there. And we could get some bonus points, why not? And even more points! In fact, I think I've exceeded the uh, score I had before. If only I hadn't died, eh? I could have been number one on the scoreboard, which would have immediately been wiped as soon as we uh, turned the machine off, because this game had no battery backup whatsoever. Not even for high scores. So you'd have to just write it down and tell people, look, I definitely got this score. Honest, and here is another extra life. The game just wants me to keep trying and somehow get into there by luring the saucer over here. And that was a terrible idea because unfortunately I jumped right into the path of a robot. Why does a robot want to kill Bomb Jack? Who knows? Nobody knows. Maybe the birds know? Though the birds aren't saying if that's the case. And there is a power up I really, really want to use. There we go. We'll uh, do that there, and we'll grab all these here, and then we'll grab that solitary bomb. Getting to the next level! Level 34! And I'm not sure if I'm gonna get too much further. This level is rather hard. But then again, I said that about the last- Oh, this is a really bad place to be. And I'm amazed I survived that at all. Come over here, enemies! I wish to jump this way and try to avoid certain doom, which I actually managed to do. Not bad at all. And here is this level once more. As you can see, the game just continually gets harder and harder, until eventually you can't do it anymore. Now imagine this game, every single time you died, you had to put more money in. And then you'll know basically how the arcades made all of their money. If you wanted to get that high score, you needed to either get really good at the game, or you needed to put um, more money in, because I'm- uh oh because I'm pretty sure in the arcade version you didn't lose your high score if you uh, managed to put more money in. Also, 50,000 bonus points! And unfortunately, we are on our very last life here. Our very last leg here, Bomb Jack. Don't mess it up. We could very much mess it up here. We need an extra life rather quickly, and I... Yep, we are doomed. A flying saucer spelt our doom indeed but we most certainly managed to beat our previous score at number three. Not number one, but hey, if you add the points together, it makes number one, and that's how it works, right? Right? That is not how it works. 
So we shall let the um, bit move here, and we won't continue, and it will go straight back to the title screen. Only five seconds is not a long time at all. Not long at all. And so, that indeed is Bomb Jack, a very enjoyable game that can get very, very frantic later. And if you're curious, you can make the enemies uh, slow or normal, there is no fast. There is a hard on the levels, though, that I have never, ever tried. And I really don't think I'll be any good at it if I did try. And so, I'm Kikoskia, and that was Let's Play Bomb Jack. What is the moral of Bomb Jack? Birds will always be your enemies in video games. Except when they're not your enemies. In which case, ignore this piece of advice. I know that piece of advice was very, very vague. But hey, don't call the Flash if you have a problem with bombs. Bomb Jack is your man. Unless there are birds. Whereupon you might want the Flash. In fact, you might actually just want the Flash anyway. If he's around, I'm sure he'd want to help you. So I'm Kokoskia, and that was Let's Play Bomb Jack. And I'll catch you next time, folks. And I'll see you then. Later. And now I'm going to be humming that uh, main game music all day. And that is not a bad thing at all. Such a catchy tune. Later.